not that we're not like like we're we're a real working band. Like we make a whole living doing this, and occasionally we do stuff where we're still moving our gear and things like that. But we are like we made it work because we are so DIY because we're so frugal. Like right. I mean, we tour on a bus. We you know do all that stuff typically. But um, you know, it's not like we're millionaires. You know what I mean? It's not like we're Aerosmith where like there's no circumstance that would ever make sense to not play. You know? So I think it's the type of thing where just like um, you know, we want new challenges and we want to have new like just doing the same thing over and over and over again forever would not be interesting. I think so. Um, at, at the same time, we don't see it a time when we don't have to end. I'm sure there would be, but we don't see it in the in, in the horizon at all. So in one respect, we just kind of want to take control of it and say we're gonna make an end point to this. It's not gonna be. We're not gonna wait till it is happening and say it, but we're gonna make this last run meaningful as opposed to the same as the past. It's easy to you know you don't want the thing that you do artistically to become a comfort zone. Yeah. Where you can just like keep going back to the well, you know, and like wake up and you don't know why you're doing something anymore. It's just the thing that you do, and that's not the case now. But you know, you want to cut that off before that might become the case. And also, you only have so much time on Earth to do new things, and we're still young, but we're at the, we're at the end of being young, you know. So if we're going to do other things and figure out what else we would do in the absence of this this giant thing that kind of runs all our lives, this is, is the last time to see what that would be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think we always say this, it's not, it's the time in between the shows that gets harder because, you know, it's not as fun to just be running around in the middle of nowhere with your friends, like, you know, like, you're not excited to go to Cincinnati for the 70th time. Yeah, like, it's you know not I mean? as fun as it was when you were young, but the shows are still really amazing for us, and right. really important, and, and um, while physically sometimes from the wear and tear, like, in between the shows gets harder, it's like the shows is the only time we don't have to think about that, where we have the adrenaline and the energy. Yeah. Touring makes us forget time. about. Chuck yeah. time out of your life. Yeah, so I think the idea for us is not to, because we want to remove those shows, it's because we want to change everything in between them, and you can't change your life if you don't change your life. You know, if you don't change what you do, you can't change your life. So, I think my biggest fear is not having the shows anymore, more than my fear is of, you know, it, I'm scared of not having the shows to take my mind off of life more than I'm scared of, you know, the opposite of like, you know what I mean? So, I'm curious how it'll be to have just all the in-between shows forever, <laughs> and not, not the show, and not having the shows. You know? We just kind of do what we do, and if the people keep coming, it's like, that's like information, you know? Like we can't, with a band like Dillinger, you can't like think about what people want. No. Because then we would have never been this band to begin with. There was no real market for what we were doing, so. Um, I think yeah, we try to purely exp express as purely yeah. as possible and just trust our instincts. And I know we get bored really quickly, creatively, so if something is exciting to us, our attention spans are pretty short, so if it's exciting to us, it's probably going to be somewhat exciting to other people because we're so hard on ourselves and we, we do get so creatively, creatively bored quickly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, and with that being said, we know that we're, we would continue to be polarizing because of that, because you know we have such crazy attention, you know, attention deficit and it takes so much to stimulate us that by the time we have an album that really feels challenging, we know that a good amount of people won't get it or like it. But we also know that the people who are like us who are looking for more, hopefully will, will also, you know, get something out of it. And we write really honestly too, which is, I think helps a lot. Like we don't really, uh, we, we don't really strategize, you know, what we're trying to write, or we don't have like a commercial purpose or try to, open, you know, think it. We just try to write as honestly as possible. And uh, I, I think that comes through, and people relate to honesty. And, you know, they can tell they're not being given a product; they're being given a piece of you. Yeah. And, and I think that the, the interesting thing is that we don't write concept albums, but we do. Because, you know, basically, when it's, we don't sit here and say, well, let's make a conceptual theme with the artwork and all this stuff, and it's going to be about this, and there's going to be a stage show, and a puppet's going to do a thing, and we're going to have a fucking... But if you write honestly, but it ends up being a concept. When we look back at our albums, it's pretty clear to us what was going through our heads and how psychologically where we were during those times. So in a way, they are really like kind of a body of work that represents where we were, you know, in our in our lives in some respects. So um, 
that's, I guess, you know, speaks to trying to be honest and just make music that comes out of you based on where you're at. You know? It's yeah. the first, I think this time around, we didn't compromise um, our, we didn't let outside sources determine, we never did too much, but we really didn't in any way, shape, or form let outside sources determine any direction of this album from artwork to house release to production to anything. Like, uh, we literally just did it exactly how we felt like doing it. Um, and so, in some respects, I think it's almost like going back to the beginning when we, we had no idea how it was supposed to be or what it was supposed to be like. And, um, it definitely, I feel like, has its own sound and its own personality outside of our catalog. In a way, so in a way, it's like the perfect bookend to like our first album, and our last album. Like, it, to me, both albums felt very unique in the way they sounded, and then there was Dealing Through the Middle, which had we were doing a different thing. So um, I can't say how it's different because we're not really objective, we're like in it so much, but I really feel that it has its own sound for sure. Yeah, I feel like this record feels like a in between album more so than than songs, like it makes sense, makes more sense as an album than being able to take individual songs out. So I feel like the other, I feel like Miss Machine through One of Us is a Killer were like building on each other and then I feel like we took the things that made, like the pieces that we had in those albums and blew them up and put them on the floor and then they grew back together, like liquid terminator back together into some, into a different form, like all the pieces are there but it's different now. Like like it's more natural, like it feels more like more like free jazz or something. You know? It just feels more less like less structured as songs, but more structured as an album. So, like, when you hear it, you know, it might make sense, more sense to you. But, uh, we're doing like a like a bunch of shows in the U.S. Um, in uh, December in Chicago. We're playing in Chicago, so uh, yeah, we're excited. We played uh, two shows in London and England recently, writing a Leeds festival. And so that was our first time just seeing if, if it works, you know. And obviously, there was a creative process, but um, it was really great to actually just be on a stage and have that energy going on and seeing how it worked in that context. And we felt it went pretty well, so we're excited to, to try.